the start of the ESPN tip-off marathon. Sit back, relax, and enjoy for the next 31 hours. We've got 20 games for you from around the country, including both defending national champions, UConn tonight and Duke tomorrow night as the Huskies visit Ohio State and begin a quest for a fourth consecutive national championship. Brianna Stewart, your Wade Trophy winner, the National Player of the Year last season, and most outstanding performer at the last three Final Fours, wins the... And Ohio State will push the pace as we open up this first quarter of play. And the other way to lay in for Gabby Williams. A lot of new rules will get you caught up. Canada has now qualified for the Olympics as well. On the run, Stewart with the rejection as Hart tried to go up for the land. Off the ball fake, the pull up mid range. Brianna Stewart. Activity level on the defensive end of the floor. Active hands, active feet. Alston had it jarred loose, and Connecticut comes up with another turnover. And the quick counter, Nurse with the lay in. And it is 7 to nothing, and the Buckeyes have to burn a timeout. Settle for long jump shots. You can penetrate the gaps in the zone, not with, just with the dribble drive, but with penetrating passes as well. And if that's on Mitchell, that's two. What a drive right here by Nurse. Just gets into the defender, creates contact. And won't go, and then Jefferson gets the steal. That one won't drop. Williams finally lays it in. Multiple opportunities for Connecticut. Jefferson slices to the rim and scores. Has to get a lot of possessions. They're going to let it fly. Back door to Samuelson for the lay-in and the first points of her career. Well, Connecticut continuing to stay in this half-court trap back into the 3-2 zone. Activity level, Mariah Jefferson getting in the passing lane. Ohio State just too soft with those passes. It is really throwing Ohio State for a loop. They weren't really expecting a zone, expecting man-to-man, -man, and not quite sure how to handle it. It's something that Kevin McGuff will have to address at the end of the quarter. Jefferson got the layup and then almost got the steal. And we're scoreless in that first quarter. And there's Stewart coming over to help out. One All-American blocking the shot of another. Well, this is just a really good job. Help defense of being there by six. So Brianna will try and work in the lane instead. The kick out, short corner is good. And the first basket for Nafisa Collier. This is Nurse inside of Morgan Tuck. Five on the shot clock, spins to her right and uses the window. On the run, and the lay-in is good for Mariah Jefferson. Here's the other issue, too, for coaches now, Stephanie. You have one fewer timeout this year as it's another steal and a lay-in. One fewer time out to you, so you really got to be careful with how you... And a fever who made it all the way to the WNBA Finals this summer. Morgan Tuck, and there is the first three of the ball game for Connecticut after six straight misses. You can see from Ohio State right now, really lax with the ball on the defensive end as well. And Gabby Williams, she has been so impressive. Her activity level, her skill set as if Connecticut needed another weapon in their starting lineup. It appears now that they have one at every position again, and there is weapon number one, Brianna Stewart. Well, taking advantage of the mismatch, you know she can get the ball to Stewart inside, a great flash and pass, and finishing with contact. That ends a 17-0 run for the Huskies. Jefferson, 12 points on six layups tonight. It was a weakness for Ohio State against South Carolina. And, and defensively, Kevin McGuff said, we're not as far along as we need to be, but rebounding is about effort. It's about discipline. Jefferson with the triple to work through an entire possession. Just quick shots. And quick shots can be as bad as turnovers. Boy, after missing their first six triples, Connecticut heating up from downtown as opposed to doing what you do best, and that's attacking. And offensive rebounds continue for Connecticut, and that's going to get in her first 10 shots tonight. Look at the quick counter by Connecticut. They just do not give you any breathing room. And the second on Waterman. Still 6.40 to go here in the third quarter. 
Stewart says, okay. I ain't made her mad. Let me just now knock down made her three. Mad. He starts shooting free throws, all two shot fouls on five fouls per quarter. And there's another easy breakaway for Connecticut. It's been a big... On the inbound, and it's an easy layup underneath for Gabby Williams. Find out what the Buckeyes are in the next three or four weeks. Morgan Tuck hits the jumper. Courtside here in Columbus, Beth Moe and Stephanie White, and the, uh, the new voice of reason in the studio. Jefferson, first jump pulls up and hits. She said she worked on that oh mid-range jumper. She didn't want to just be at the rim or three-point line. She fourth personal foul was a double foul after getting tied up with one of the Buckeyes. Morgan Tuck rolls and scores. Stewart. Foul down the shot, and it goes. That's good. Stewart's hit that little one dribble pull up a couple of times in this ball game. You have to be up there. You can't allow her to get time and space because she can just elevate and shoot right over the top of you. The time she goes to another level. Found herself all alone on the wing and off the dribble drive. Brianna Stewart. Brianna Stewart. Now with 20 points to go along with eight rebounds and four assists. Better than they were a year ago, uh, headed, and they uh, went to their first Final Four. When you think about South Carolina and the experience, not only that they got... Williams stepping into the passing lane. She's going to consistently be a stat stuffer. I mean, just, just as how, how active she is on the defensive end of the floor, she's going to get herself some steals. Points five players in double figures tonight for Connecticut. And that would be their entire starting lineup of this team. The difference in the energy level between the South Carolina game and here, the body language, those kind of things that you can control, your effort level. An unprecedented four national championships, the way they came out and really dictated from the beginning. Two from Tierney Lawler. And Lawler knocks it down. Final seconds as UConn hits 100. And they go on the road and open up their season with a win against Ohio State. 100 to 56 is the final. All five starters for Connecticut in double figures, led by Brianna Stewart with 24 and Mariah Jefferson with 21 points tonight.